everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within Slash Unknown. A lot of good stuff happened. We only had one mission in the last episode, but a lot of stuff got done. A lot of research, we captured the outsider alien, we manufactured the skeleton key, now the alien base assault is open up to us. Uh, before we do that, we have some stuff to take care of, shall I say. You, why are you upgraded? Oh, because you are now a mech trooper, of course. Uh, if I give, do you have a mech suit yet? Okay, we do have one available. Uh, and we will give her a rail gun. I just want to check on the stats of this. The minigun, 4 to 6 with an 8 to 10 critical damage, 10% critical chance. With the rail gun, 6 to 8. It's got a medium range and 11 to 13 critical chance. So that's definitely uh, an upgrade. Are they both short range? Medi or sorry, medium range. That's good. That's very good news. Um, we can customize her as well. I'm, I'm fine with the name, but uh, the armor tint has got to change so I know who you are. I'm uh, sure maybe we'll go with bright yellow. Hard to miss on the battlefield. Maybe not so good from a stealthy standpoint. Um, now that we have Major Fizzle Beef... Oh, sorry. We want to load him out with a... Uh, I shouldn't necessarily apologize, but I, I thought it was a different person. You're fine. Um, our heavy. We are going to load him out with now uh, our heavy laser, which we have not built yet. Okay, I've made a mistake. Let's go back to engineering quickly. We're going to spend probably another two or three minutes uh, just getting our soldiers equipped with the items that they need to succeed. So... Uh, we need at least two heavy lasers, I think. And we're gonna build some new facilities as well, but first things first. Okay, if you soldiers, you are going to require a heavy laser. Which, and let's just uh, look at the upgrades here. Five to seven with a zero critical hit chance, uh, whereas the LMG is three to five with a zero critical hit chance. Times two, that's pretty good. Uh, we also have him with the arc thrower, which is probably a little bit less essential now than it used to be. So maybe we can just give him a frag grenade instead, because he gets to take two of them. You know what? We should probably make like some needle grenades or something that maybe we can give them. Major Jude Law, you are deserving of a better sniper rifle, which is going to be a five to seven uh, base damage with a thirty percent chance of hitting for nine to eleven instead of like the you know three to five twenty five percent chance of six to eight. Hmm, you even get a better critical chance with that. That's interesting. Uh, frag grenade is an okay choice, I think. Assault Android Cactus Lady! You get a scatter laser. And again, you know, do we need to give you the arc throw? We can probably just give you a grenade instead. Uh, our supports, I think, is, I think is good to go. We almost had a weird little domestic emergency with our cat there, but that's okay. Um, our other heavy deserves a heavy laser. And everything else I think is a okay. And I think that's basically where we stand. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? If I go to like build upgrade mech, is, do I have any choices here? Why can't I upgrade? Missing research. Okay. So I think we're good to go here for now. Uh, when is our genetic modification done on our other soldier? Like I've, I've got too many good soldiers. It's a nice position to be in. Let's just scan for activity first and let some more research finish. So what did we get here? Satellite Nexus is now available for construction so that we can... Uh, it basically, it's just an upgraded version of the satellite uplink facility. Let's get UFO power source done, which is going to finish in two days. So again, it's going to be another research spree, which is fine. Next, our uh, gene modification is going to be done. Ooh, we actually had a UFO land. We can't ignore that, so we'll send out a Sky Ranger. So, this is an interesting situation to be in, because I'm very, very happy with the soldiers that we have. But also, there is the possibility of me slotting in another mech trooper. But who leaves? It would probably be Zhang. But is another mech really better than Zhang as a heavy captain? It's a good question to ask, I think, because now I'm kind of em I'm embarrassed. I'm spoiled uh, by riches here. I'm just taking a quick cursory glance. Our sniper, is that the laser sniper rifle? It is, okay. Um, I think maybe we just might pull out with exactly the same uh, options that we have as is. But first things first, I apologize that this is taking so long, by the way, but we should build some new facilities. Um, we should excavate a couple of things, and what's next? We should probably build a satellite nexus, perhaps. Sure. And uh, so let's begin construction on that. We should probably build another satellite, for that matter. Uh, but also, I think we should build... Oh, we have to build a power generator, so I'll just pop that down here. Uh, but we should build a foundry as soon as we can as well, so that we can start getting those upgrades. So I'll excavate that, and we're almost out of money here, but why don't we, um, why don't we buy some special kind of grenades as well, in addition to a satellite. Maybe we'll buy some laser cannons as well. These are done immediately. Hmm. And you might as well get some of these going as well. Sure, we'll take a couple. 
Uh, we're almost out of money now. Sure, we'll build a one satellite. And now it would cost us too much money. But we can build, like, some needle grenades or something like that. One needle grenade, anyway. Sure! Awesome! Okay, so there's, like, a thousand gold spent in basically no time at all. Mission Control, UFO landing site first off. Send Sky Ranger, everything's good to go. We are gonna give Zhang the uh, needle grenades though. And on the next mission, we will probably go for the base assault. I really want my genetic modification to be done on that one soldier though. Uh, because then, you know, maybe she can find a spot in our, uh, in our uh, squad. What I should probably do is rotate soldiers in and out so that, uh, you know, everyone gets upgraded and if everyone gets upgraded and leveled up pretty well, uh, then when they maybe end up being slotted into the regular rotation because another soldier dies, then that's, uh, you know, good news. I, I'm not dealing with, like, rookies and squaddies. As is, though, I'm very pleased with the, uh, the squad that I have. I just wish I could make the squad size a little bit bigger. So, um... There's nothing really new to talk about. This is a really nice looking level though. We have already discovered three mutons. Okay. Is it going to be a mission like that? Well, you know, usually when um, when it's a UFO landing instead of a UFO crashing, you usually encounter stiffer resistance. I'm just gonna go through my odds here. We have a chance to do up to 10 damage, 65% chance. I think that's better than just using the flamethrower, which gives you like, uh, six damage and causes panic. That is a sweet ass railgun. Okay. In hindsight, I sort of wish that I had taken our second uh, mech trooper here because this railgun is proving to be awesome so far. Will I have a shot with my sniper if I come out here? Yes. Okay. That's extremely useful. It's only 40%, but it's worth a shot anyway. Get it? Worth a shot. Wow, that is exceptionally lucky. So we got the critical hit for 12 damage, which is nuts. How do we kill this other muton? Mm, this is where's full cover? Do you have a shot there though? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little risky here. So we're gonna take Android Cactus, and we're gonna put her over here, and then we can rapid fire. And if we get two shots with our uh, scatter laser that both hit. Ooh, that seems pretty unlikely. One shot has a 40, uh, 58, two shots has 43. Let's try it. If one of these hits, that'll be good. One miss, we got basically a coin flip on this one. Oh, two misses is kind of annoying, but also, still, the game has been pretty kind to us so far. So, we have no shot here, which makes this a pretty easy decision to just um, use this smoke grenade to hopefully decrease the odds of uh, any of these guys taking damage. Maybe. We might be so lucky. And we still have both of our heavies left that can shoot. Uh, unfortunately, none of them have shots uh, right out of the box. And I sort of have obscured my own vision here, which is frustrating. But probably could have shot a rocket at him as well. 26% chance to hit. Or we could use a needle grenade. Uh, but that would hurt us as well. It's got a huge area of effect. But let's take our 26% chance. I'm feeling lucky today. That looks like a big miss. And, uh, could we just, like, fire a shredder rocket in here? We totally could have. Um, that's my mistake. I should have done that earlier. Because if I had done that, then, uh, he would have lost his cover, and then I probably could have hit him much more easily. And we actually don't have a shot here. So, that means we go into Overwatch. I'm a little bit concerned about the safety of, uh, a couple of my soldiers, particularly Android Cactus, but we did kill, uh, you know, two of the Mutons right away. That's a big miss, and he will not be able to move after that. So I'm pretty sure that we just win now, basically. Uh, where is our sniper? Doesn't have a shot, weirdly enough. We, we can see the meld canister over there. All right. Uh, Android Cactus, I'm going to put you up here. You should have basically a, maybe not a 100% chance to hit, but a pretty good one. Two times 59% chance. First one right on the chin. Second one would be the kill, but it's a miss. It's not that big of a deal in all, you know, the whole scheme of things. Uh, we should have another pretty decent shot with Big Large McHuge here, or Big McLarge Huge. 39 is not great. That's a big miss. Basically just shot a bunch of lasers into that lady's butthole. That's how babies are made. <laughs> Don't worry, you have nothing to be concerned about. Uh, we'll use our railgun here. I put my faith in the railgun. Unfortunately, it was just kind of like a lumberjack situation there. and cut down the tree and nothing else, but we can... Oh, we can't take another shot. Okay, so we'll have him reload instead. Alright, Zhang, we got 26% times 2. And apart from that, not too much. So we are going to try to move some people closer to get shots in here. Because as of right now, this has not worked out especially well. 32% chance on this one. Can I, I should just be able to move closer and then throw a grenade. Because this is just becoming comical at this point. 
Uh, why don't you have a shot? Like, I'm just going to move you over still within the cover of smoke. You still don't have a shot? Jesus. And the grenade can't even hit you. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about you in a second. It's really just Zhang and Law at this point, uh, which is frightening to me. We're going to move Zhang is, is especially close here. I really don't want to use a needle grenade because I don't know if it, it'll accidentally hurt me. Okay, we're going to toss this over here. We'll at least see how it works and we'll get the guaranteed kill. But that was kind of a... Uh, Kind of sloppy there on my part, and the RNG didn't really work out for me. All right, needle grenade has worked fantastically there. Everybody, take some time to reload, get reacquainted with uh, with your guns because clearly it didn't seem like they worked that well that time. And uh, if we can get some more meld, it would be excellent. Another thing I should kind of focus on here as we, uh, yeah, I can afford to move up a little bit. Another thing that I should f kind of focus on after we finish this mission is. Taking some of my, now that I have the freedom, because I have some better troops, uh, taking some time to uh, gene mod all of these soldiers that I am not going to turn into mechs, because I might as well just give them some bonus uh, abilities, basically. There's no reason not to, uh, except that they end up being out of commission for a couple of days, and it costs us meld, obviously. And You know, we're not rolling in meld right now, but it's going pretty well. We have enough to definitely outfit another soldier with some half-decent upgrades. We're just having everybody basically reload on this turn, and we'll have our sniper be able to do an overwatch instead, which is not that big of a deal, but sure. Overwatch it is. And we're probably going to lose the meld on this level, but that's okay. I can't believe we spent like 800 credits already. I'm glad that we did, but uh, I mean, we got some good stuff out of it, but um, certainly I would have liked uh, for it to have been... To have gone a little bit longer, if that makes sense. So, send our mech out here. We have discovered. Oh no. Okay. So, that is what I was concerned about with the oh no here. These are our mechanized uh, sectoids. I believe they're called mechanoids, which, you know, makes sense in hindsight. We got a 68% chance to hit that one and a 78% chance to hit the uh, mechanoid, which we have to because. Uh, He's going to be a fucking nightmare for us. That was our first move, which is lucky. Now, uh, we need to figure out how we're going to take this dude down without getting ourselves killed. So, we can't even hit him there. Uh, do we have a shot with our sniper? No. Partial cover counts as full cover, so I'm just going to move her over here. She doesn't have a shot, but the overwatch could be important. Now, Big Large McHuge, do you have a shot? No. So you are going to come over here, and uh, I'm going to put you on Overwatch as well. And I think basically, unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to leave our... Hmm, let me think about this. We're going to have to leave our, uh, our mech kind of out in the open, which is not what I want to do. But I do kind of feel like it's what I've got to do. I'm going to toss a grenade down here just to bust up the cover. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't, you know, no big loss, I guess. Um... I'm not... Uh, I don't think it's going to give me a vision, unfortunately. Um, I, I'd rather not do this, but I, I don't know what else I can do to protect our mech in this sense. Not to accidentally quote, quote the Wu-Tang. Uh, and I can't even really put Zhang in a good position, so... I think I may just dash him behind this tree here, and then we'll, we'll hope that he's a little bit more valuable on the next turn. So, this is, uh, this is your nightmare turn, where you discover five enemies, including one extraordinarily powerful one, and... Uh, just wait and see what happens, basically. This is where reaction shots would be pretty important. Major Law. Just a great name, isn't it? Please, don't let me down. Pretty good! Seven damage is at least going to minimize the effect that this uh, sectoid, or sorry, a uh, mechanoid can have while he's out here. I, is he going for like some kind of knockout punch or something? It's freaking me out. Uh, nine damage, but we had one more miss. If that had just hit, it would have been awesome. He's coming out here to, like, give me a knockout punch. I think he actually just moved right next to me, which is going to give me a pretty easy means to kill him. I can't believe that that sectoid missed us. Now I'm not feeling as uh, as scared as I was moments ago. Sure, two damage. That sucks, I guess, but no big deal. We should have more uh, sectoids coming out of the woodwork here. Is it li Oh, that is a, a cyber... Not cybernetically. A telepathically enhanced one, which actually means we can get two kills for the price of one. But, uh, let's talk about this first. 63% chance to basically kill. We only have two shots with this guy. Well, he's not going to be able to hit anybody else, so we might as well have him go on this one. 
Big miss. And uh, this one is the important one then. Okay, so we are going to get the kill. When he explodes, he may do some damage to the, the mech around him. It's a learning experience. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, do I have ammo enough for two shots? I think so. So let's do it. 88% uh, chance to kill this guy. That it, The railgun is just beautiful in this. Uh, do we have another shot? I think we, we should. Out of ammo. Never mind. <laughs> Out of ammo. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'll just have you reload then. Ammunition loaded. Okay, so Zhang has two shots. 56, 56. Let's start with the 56 on this side. Come on, coin flip. Bad luck, so we'll have him shoot in exactly the same direction again. The fact that the uh, mechanoid is dead is by far the most important part of this whole uh, arrangement that we've got going on here. We may lose the meld. Shit happens, right? 75% um, chance to hit, which basically means 75% chance to kill. Uh, unfortunately, shot that tree instead of the alien. I can see how you can get them confused. Uh, they do look pretty similar. So we're going to have Florence Nightingale move over here. At this point, my dreams of recovering this meld are completely nullified. Don't miss this one. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, well, um, well, I think we just move down here and maybe we have an okay shot at the sectoid inside of the building. Why do I see three now? You, you, and you, what the heck are you? Is that another sectoid? Hard to tell. Okay, 51% chance to hit or two times 36. Let's just go for the coin flip and save some ammo. All right, lucky me. So that should be the end of this turn. Could have gone better. Uh, some of the odds didn't necessarily work in our favor. Remember, we got hit for two health. We've repaired for two health. As um, thankfully, we have the augmentation that gives us life steal on this mech soldier, which again is another reason. Well, first off, you're just going to reload this turn. Uh, but it's another reason that you want to get your soldiers updated as soon as possible. So 68% chance to hit. Not quite the magic number, but good enough. Railgun uh, made quick work of him. And on this turn, I don't know, I'd maybe just have him reload even, because he only gets two shots, which is crazy, but anyway. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just move in here and see if we get more aggro, which we did, but it's aggro from an outsider, which is a pretty, uh, you know, easy order most of the time. What are our odds of killing the outsider? Not great. Let's take a second here. Uh, i got to think about this. So we have Florence Nightingale. If I put her, like, oh, she's not going to be okay. in cover, which is scary, but if I put her over here, does she have a shot? She has a shot at this sectoid, which we basically have to take. You know, sometimes the best defense is a good offense, but unfortunately we didn't have anything going for us there. Uh, you know, I'm not thrilled about the idea that I am possibly throwing my soldiers uh, into a, a completely coverless zone here. I wonder if I can just... Do I have the strongest arm in the world? No. Uh, I could quite easily hit my own soldier with that. We got an issue here. Like a genuine issue. Uh, so I think we run in here. I know this seems horrifying and scary. Never mind. We are actually okay. 100% chance to hit or 2 times 93. I'll take the 100. And with you dead, uh, it is a theoretical possibility that is it is only that one sectoid that is far away that remains for us to shoot. Uh, which is actually like really unfortunate that we didn't kill it on that uh, that shot where we had the chance Because now we've got a couple of soldiers that are completely outside of cover here But uh, if this is the last alien we will at least get some melt this would be it would do a, a lot for me It would be a really nice favor if you could actually murder the alien on this shot Okay again, um, you seem to have a reckless disregard for timber, but you know so be it I guess we've got uh, other fish to fry right now, don't we? I can't believe we didn't take damage there. I was basically thinking that it was like a 100% chance we were going to get hit. It certainly would not have killed us, at least not on uh, not on normal difficulty. You've got a 62% chance to hit, which of course means that you are going to miss. You've got a 75% chance to hit, and thankfully somebody around here knows how to do their job and can execute a stationary target. Good! We got a meld canister. We got uh, 10 aliens killed. We did get shot once, but we repaired, and uh, I'm pretty sure that that mech trooper is actually going to be... Good to go, and is not actually going to have to undergo any repairs. So, we, uh, Zhang has been updated with Will to Survive, which reduces the damage he takes by two. Uh, everybody else seems to be doing pretty good here. We got the Kermit the Frog Crest. We can also do a Mechtoid Autopsy. Mechanoid, Mechtoid, whatever, right? Um, so we might as well reward that, or sorry, award that. 
Who was the... We've only given... Oh, we already have a Dorito Slam Dunk of the game we can give away, too. Uh, let's give that to this guy, who, for some reason, does not have it. His name is Big McLarge Huge, and the game gave him the nickname Tank. It's perfect. So, uh, he'll be able to be healed more by med kits, which is fairly useful. And, uh, the Kermit the Frog Crest, we've only got one of these that has come out so far. But we'll give that to him to... Or, we'll give that award to him, too. He's been uh, a good soldier for us recently. You know what? Zhang's been really good as well. But... Because he, he's not a creation of my own and is just inserted in the Slingshot DLC, I feel some weird resentment towards him because I am petty and silly. Gene modification is done in a day. There we go. I think, yes, that was weird for a second. I'll let the... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to let the cutscene play because I'm a little bit nervous that there maybe is some mature content here. You know, this game is rated M for mature. There's a little bit of kind of ambiguous nudity, I should say. But anyway, gene modification is done. UFO power source is also done. What can we build now? Illyrium generator and mech 2 sentinel. Okay, we should have done that earlier. Because now we can build another mech. So the Illyrium power generators uh, allow you to get plus 30 power and have a better adjacency bonus, I think. And the mech 2 sentinel can have a grenade launcher or restorative mist. Med kits require fine motor control. Instead, the mech can spray restorative mist to heal all nearby allies. That seems really useful. Um... What should we research here? Maybe Illyrium to allow us to make a uh, allow us to make some better aircrafts. And can we sell something on the gray market to maybe start making? Uh, I mean, we can, but I'd maybe rather not. <laughs> I I want to start making um, the, those new mechs, but for now, ah, uh, you know what? I should go. Uh, let's sell some stuff, and I'll explain why. We're gonna go to. Um, not covert operatives, but uh, visit the gray market. And maybe we'll just sell some stuff that we're certainly not going to need. We probably don't need, you know, 22 Thin Man corpses. We probably don't need this many uh, Sectoid corpses either. What do we make with those? Like the AIM uh, module. Alright, so we'll sell like five of those. Uh, let's, uh, let's sell a little bit of Illyrium. Sell a few alloys. Um, sell like one of those. One of those. And that's fine. We get 216 extra credits. And what this is going to allow us to do, we only have 55 meld, but um, let's take our soldiers. And there's some soldiers we know we're going to be using. Android Cactus, we know we're going to be using. Uh, Jude Law, we know we're going to be using. So why don't we take Jude Law here, uh, and we'll start giving her some gene mods. So, confers plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss seems useless. Height advantage can... For an additional plus 5 aim and plus 5% critical chance seems pretty useless as well because I almost never give her some height. But if I give her muscle fiber density, um, why can I not click on this for some reason? There we go. Okay, yes, go to the genetics lab, please. Um, we'll give her muscle fiber density, which is going to cost us 25 meld, and then also give her the one for the uh, depth perception, and then she can just like basically jump up uh, onto high buildings by herself, and then she's a more useful sniper, I guess. She doesn't need, like, a skeleton suit. Is there, we have another little bit. Who else are we probably going to be using? You know what, Zhang, why don't you undergo some uh, genetic modification here? You got 25 meld. I'm going to give you hyper-reactive pupils, and what this means is that you'll get plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss, which is very useful as a uh, heavy, which means you can, you know, attack twice in a row. Anyway, uh, twice in a row in the second shot will have a plus 10 aim bonus. So that's pretty useful. Uh, so just a little bit of gene modification there, and let me also check out uh, our mech facility here. It's going to cost us 40 meld. Unfortunately, there's not too much I can do about that. Um, can I upgrade these? I cannot. Okay, so further research is required. We'll wait for that research to come in. We got the more gene modifications coming in as well. And assign new research. Manufacturing this element is beyond our capabilities. We will only be able to use what we recover from alien crafts. Okay. Shit happens, I guess. Now, um, let's research new fighter craft, because I would like to get some of those out as soon as possible. We'll do me mechtoid autopsy first, actually, because I want to be able to do more damage against them. So I'm just waiting for the gene mod to come through. Thank God it actually has. So that's hyper-reactive pupils that allows him to be better after he... Uh, sorry, yes, we got the better legs as well. That's fine. Um... We got one more day, for, one more three-day period for gene modification. I, I apologize for taking this time. It's always a balancing act. I want to do the alien base assault, but I want our gene mods to be done first. Now that the power generator is complete, we should build a foundry. Probably should have done this a long time ago, but uh, this will allow us to get uh, hopefully some upgrades for our mechs. 
And I think we've got a lot of momentum now. Things are going pretty well. Metoid autopsy is done. What do we get as a result of this? Nothing yet, but we can do more damage against them with our mech um, upgrades. Anyway, new fighter craft being researched. Two days till the gene mod's done. Oh, I hate everything. Well, on the bright side, we will be able to reduce panic in India, which is absolutely where we're going to go on this mission. But on the downside, uh, I really wanted to do the alien base assault next, and this throws a little bit of a monkey wrench into our plans. But it's all in the interest of due diligence. As always, thanks for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far, in spite of my absolute facepalm-worthy mistakes. Again, if you have been enjoying the series or you've enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. It helps me out an enormous deal. And, of course, as always, uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Daily Enemy Within. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.